All right, here we go to Lanier High School. See number one defensive tackle in the country, Derek Brown, play tonight. Six foot five, 300, uncommitted. Has his choice of any college he wants. This is the first time I'll get to see Derek uh, play in person. Obviously, we've thrown out an invite to the U.S. Army All-American game. And uh, once you've got that offer, every college in America knows that we've done our homework. He really started getting a lot of love as a sophomore. And he's handled it about as well as, as any high schooler can. I think he's enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I think it creates some confidence in him. Uh, but there's a balance between confidence and, and maybe going overboard. I think he's done a good job of handling that as, as well as you know any 15 to 18 year old kid can. It was weird because when I first started playing football, I did not like football. <laughs> as my dad said, I'm, I was soft. And that's why I didn't like football at first. But then like, I remember my mom took me and put me in the Doorville League. The first night I got there, some kid tried to fight me. So I was like, so at that point, I was just like, all right, well, I guess I just got to be that dude now. I think on the field, Derek has progressed from maybe taking some plays off when he was younger to now really playing, playing his tail off on every rep. You kind of always know what kind of level of recruit you have by who shows up. For instance, Friday night, Coach Butch Jones from uh, Tennessee was here at the, at the football game. and. You know, it's it's kind of a spectacle for, for a lot of folks, especially those that sit in the stands to see that. And um, it's kind of a necessary evil for them to be seen and for that kid to know that they're extremely interested. You think he's ready for the big steak? No. 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 It's 9.50 and we are? One and oh! We're going to go about and profile Bailey Hockman the number two pro-style quarterback in the country for the 2017 class. Committed to the University of Georgia. He had offers from just about every Division I school you could imagine. Bailey doesn't have many weaknesses, but his strengths are his arm strength. You're going to think we're looking at one of the pro quarterbacks today, the way the ball gets out of his hand, the velocity it comes out with. All right, who made you, who made you get the haircut? Girlfriend or mama? My mom. My girlfriend's crying. <laughs> I'm in 11th grade, and uh, my ninth grade year, uh, I was the backup for the whole season, and our starter got hurt. So I was at the last game of the regular season. So I played in the, throughout the playoffs, and we went to the fourth round of, to the state semifinals. My son Bailey is quarterback for us. Um, he's a junior, 17 grad, and he's committed to the University of Georgia. Has received a lot of attention nationally, and and got on a big stage pretty quickly in his career. I mean, when I was a freshman, I was getting offers and stuff, and then you're just like, and I kind of got to step back from all this. And I, so I try to stay out of it as much as I could and not worry about it. You know, so what do you do? Shut it down? Do you, you know, tell them, no, I'm not going to talk to you for two years? You can't, you know. So I didn't really want it to go that fast, but it did, and, and you try to manage it and do the best you can with it. That's a big thing to me is just trying to be like real calm and even rather than being up and down. So I try to do that a lot and stay consistent. I'm going to go out and scout the Archer Tigers and specifically Jamias Williams. He's one of those athletes that size doesn't matter. I think his greatest attribute is his character. He's another athlete that has all the offers from the academic institutions. Kentucky, Texas A&M, Boston College, Arkansas, Louisville, Texas, Florida, Notre Dame, Kansas State, uh oh. How many corners are you going to get this week, Jamais? Central going to hang in there at least three? I think yeah, we'll so. See, we'll see, we'll see. Known Jamais for two years. Uh, he is a um, a super competitive kid. He's competitive in the classroom, he's competitive in the weight room, he's, he's competitive on the football field. If there was a 24-hour football game, he'd play in it. He just, he loves to compete and uh, you can see that, you know, in practice, you can see it in every area of his life. He, he never slows down. I'm not sure if he sleeps. We don't settle for just being good. Why are we doing this if we're not trying to be great? So, you know, when he plays out there, I mean, you can tell his fire in the game, you know, how he approaches the game, his work ethic.
You always gonna make a name for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get you ain't gonna ever get known sitting in the back of the line. There's nothing more exciting for a father just to know that your son is one of the highest recruited players in the nation. And for me just to see him out there performing in the way that he's performing, it's just so exciting and so humbling as a father. I couldn't be more excited for him.